Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Okay, now to activate your speech function. Me out of this thing, you blurred headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my... I, 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 there seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I, 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 I'll, I'll take a look at it later. As you can imagine, we've been pretty busy. After Drek's defeat, there were parades, press conferences, fancy dress balls... And the wiener roast at Al's. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes the cake. Pirate, ghost, robots, I mean, what do they think, we're idiots? Hey, Professor, snap to it! <clears throat> That was terrific. Yeah, great. Change the channel. Uh, but the man said to stay tuned. Note the deadlock collar securely fastened around your neck. This collar cannot be broken or removed. Should you stray into any restricted area, the collar will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this job. Should a contestant become uncooperative, or worse, boring, his or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a button. Hey, Cork then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying no good Oof! On tonight's episode of Nature's Mysteries, we examine the Florana tree beast. Deep in the dense growth of Florana's Jambu forest lives a mysterious creature. Or maybe he doesn't. It's one of Nature's Mysteries! I've seen him run right through our camping site. He was buck naked, screaming and holding a banana. Or, or maybe it weren't a banana. It, it could be. One of nature's mysteries. Something you should know. I'm not a real tyrannoid. <laughs> Will you lose your lunch if you have to watch one more reality dating show? Is your blog's gone wild video scratched from overuse? Then it's time to turn that dial to something a little more dangerous. Time for some real action. It's time to blow it up! So tell me, why is it that I can't give this stuff away? Well, uh... Don't answer that. Let me take a wild guess. It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hardlight! He's a pompous with the charisma of bloggy and Nazis! Yes, you there in the front. Uh, yeah, hi. I was just wondering, what are the rest of you gonna be doing while I'm down there getting blasted? We'll be monitoring the situation closely from here. Actually, we'll be down at the lunch buffet on deck five. It's meatloaf day! Sucker! You fell right into my trap! <laughs> You're exterminated! <laughs> your reactor slapped me some skin! Thank you for your cooperation. Cut! And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my- We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! <laughs> yeah, ironic. Hey, Juanita, are you wearing Ace Hardlight underwear? <laughs> Lucky for you dudes, I brought this! Stand back, bro. I'm like a trained professional and stuff. Don't try this at home. Oh, man, it's busted. Oh, wait, never mind. Sorry to disturb your work, sir, but you may want to know that your impenetrable secret base on Aquatos has been penetrated. Impossible! If you say so, sir, they apparently stole some sort of data disk. Well, I must be off now. Dirty laundry and whatnot. Who is responsible for this outrage? I believe it was a Captain Quark or something. Quark! Oh, Janice, you will always be the love of my life. You really should have that looked at. Quark! Right, right, I get it. You want a bigger trailer? Done. You want a daily oil massage? Done! I need my star on the set pronto, capiche? Uh, you're, uh, breaking up. You know, I can see you 
weasel boy. Whoa! Like I never knew you were this kinky, Miss Gears. Don't you ever shut up. Look at those idiots cheering! Six million bolts of hardware down the drain, and those ingrates are celebrating like, like, like I won the freaking lottery! Oh, remind me why I put up with these morons. Who else would watch Vox News? Temptation Asteroid? Galaxy's Funniest Decapitations? Yeah, yeah. Queer Eye for the Tyranoid? I get it! Supernova Taxi! I, uh, I need a cab to come get me right away! Whoa, this must be my lucky day! So, where can I pick you up, sweet cheeks? Uh, I'm a, <clears throat> I'm on planet Zeldrin! Just look for the gigantic wrecked Star Cruiser! You can't miss it! Wrecked Star Cruiser, huh? Yeah, you sound like a girl who knows how to party. What say you and me go to the cyber disco later on? Watch it, buddy. I mean, don't get fresh with me! Well, sorry, lady. I couldn't help myself. I mean, a woman like you, in a dress like that. Oh, this? Yeah. This is something I threw together. <laughs> so where you headed? I'll tell you that when you get here. And if you keep this quiet, there's another five volts in it for you. Oh, one more thing. You have to have a spare charge pack for this thing. E20 crotchetizer, huh? This gets better every second. Let's meet tonight's victim. Oops, I mean, contestant, Fred! Fred is a Gadgetron accountant who claims he once had a Morpho Ray go off in his pants. What a chair. Let's take a look at what he's up against. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> oh, Quark. I've never met a man like you. After you, I'll be ruined for other men. That's what they all say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, where am I? After making his fortune selling cigarettes to children, Ratchet went on to pilot a tanker ship for Zexon. A week later, Ratchet got drunk and crashed his tanker into the ocean world of Equados. Who can forget these graphic images of baby seers smothered in radioactive waste? Ah! Little Coco never had a chance. How could you? What did little Coco ever do to you? Wh what? But Veldin is in the Solana galaxy. Oh no, not the gravimetric warp drive. The untested gravimetric warp drive. The one you built from bloggy and scrap metal. Coming. We are doomed. You were saying? I stand corrected. Too late again. We always seem to be a bit late. Why is that? Behold the final chapter of this galaxy's destiny. The Age of Robots! You Lawrence! Oh, dear, that was your audition for Galactic Idol, wasn't it? My mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry. By all means, sir. Carry on. He hopes that disguising himself as a Tyranoid will make him more attractive to the ladies. Hey! How about that, folks? He is better looking! Do not be alarmed, Sasha. That is Ratchet. Oh, I see you won the Terror Guys. It's very convincing. One psychotic killing machine dare to reach for the stars. This holiday season, Vox Entertainment brings you the heartwarming true story of one exterminator's rise to glory. From lowly beginnings as a high school math teacher. But, but, but baby, I'm giving these kids the gift of learning. You pathetic. Get out of my sight. To spectacular success as a homicidal sports superstar. We're rich. I love you, Reactor. I was always there for you. Welcome aboard the Phoenix, gentlemen. Whoa. Impressive, isn't she? The Phoenix is the pride of the galactic fleet. She's equipped with the latest technology. 
holodeck training suites, auto vendors for armor and weapons, virtual firing range, starfighter upgrade system, even a Gadgetron VG-9000 game system. A VG-9000? Of course. With a Mavix Fireball Pro controller, VR headset, and a Zero-G dance pad attachment. Will you marry me? Well, <laughs> since you asked, I have 16 terabits of tri-directional asynchronous bandwidth on my core CPU. Ooh, that is a lot of throughput. Oh, uh, well, I... <clears throat> hey, Clank. I, I, I will call you right back. Who is that? Oh, uh, nobody, really. This ship just returned from a megacorp distribution center, and I think I found the answer to... Uh, uh... Hey, who's there? Meow. Aww. Captain Quark had so many, um, uh, wonderful qualities, I just don't know where to begin. Such as? Oh, uh, okay, uh, he was really tall, and, uh, and he had a unique fashion sense, and he had a really big chin with uh, kind of a sort of a, well, you know, a butt shape. Uh, uh, well, you know, I, I think I've droned on long enough. Bring the car around, Jeeves, and mind the ejector seat this time. <laughs> uh, youth, Captain Quark, was already a living legend. I was beating him up with a stick. However, no previous adventure could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. Yes, reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Our Vox News investigation has uncovered shocking untold stories from his dark, sinister, evil past. The destruction of civic property, illegal hover by gangs, inadequate dental hygiene. The fifth time I have a collect call to thugs for less from a Mr. You Are Gonna Die, will you accept the charges? Ah. Uh. You are gonna die. I'll take that as a yes. Thank you. You idiot. <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm paying top dollar for your protection, and your moron employees are off at some picnic. Hey, that was a bonding exercise. Hey, not! I'm at the pickup point now. If your men aren't here pronto, you can kiss this contract goodbye. Uh, oh, yeah? Well, you can kiss your, uh, uh, your... You, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, dang it. Well, I don't expect you to understand. You probably look at me and think, I'd give anything for a body like that. For just one drop of his raw animal magnetism. One iota of his impeccable... Can we just skip to the end, please? Uh, let's see, where was I? Sexy, charming, brilliant, iron hard abs. I'm about to offer you the opportunity of a thousand lifetimes. I'm making you the new captain of the Exterminators. The star of the show. Think of it. We'll make billions. We'll sell ratchet action figures, ratchet sports shoes, ratchet deodorant, ratchet breakfast cereal, earmuffs and cologne, soft drinks, hard drinks, energy drinks, breath mints. <laughs> you get record deals, movie rights, reality shows, video games, and commercials, 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 commercials. <laughs> and then, and then, is everyone ready for tonight's mega battle? Introducing from nowhere in particular. This guy! Miss Gears may be in league with Dr. Nefarious. Yeah, who knew? She always seems so sweet and innocent in her videos. Well, except for that one with the... You know the... <clears throat> Bowing to public pressure, Gleam and Vox acted quickly to address the issue. Fans of Dreadzone, I share your pain for the loss of the mighty Ace Hardlight. I encourage you all to express your grief and sympathy by purchasing this limited edition Ace Hardlight Memorial Action Figure on sale now for only 299 volts. I believe there has been a misunderstanding. Secret Agent Clang is merely a fictional character I play on the Hollow Video. Squishy lies! Oh, Lance, I can't. It's not right. You're my cousin's uncle's son! Nice. Tension all thugs for less employees! First of all, 
Whatever slug brain's been eating all the choochie bars in the break room, that quit stuff on his face. Hello? Hey, turn those lights off! It's bad feng shui. Ahem. <clears throat> Next, our space rendezvous point has been moved to, and listen up, knuckleheads, the Felsen system in sector 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you're no good with numbers, find a buddy to help you. Lastly, the company picnic is this Sunday. Don't forget to bring your own juice this time. Hey! I saw that, Cletus! You just earned yourself a write-up! Captain Quark! You've put on a bit of weight since last we met. Yeah? Well, Courtney Gears didn't seem to mind. Quark! That's what makes it so good, Janice. Feel it. My heart is pounding like an anvil. Oh, this is the best part of my day. Hello, I'm Abercrombie Fitzwidget, and I'd like to welcome you to the new Megacorp Weapons Facility. We offer guided tours to show you how our weapons are made. Our highly trained experts spend their day creating the latest in heavy-duty weaponry to protect you and your whole family. So stop by today and bring the kids. Our tours are both informative and fun. Agent Clank? What? You're even more impressive in person than you are on the holovid. And I must say, I've never seen a chauffeur fight like you do, son. Who says you can't find good help these days, right, Clank? <laughs> Sasha's told me a lot about you. Don't get any ideas, kid. She is way out of your league. <clears throat> Sasha filled me in on the uh, Quark situation. I'm told the man thinks he's a monkey? He has lost his memory, sir. Well, then you'll simply have to find it for him. We need our star player back in the game ASAP. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. My daughter tells me you're a man who's good with his hands, Ratchet. Sir, I, I swear I never... Si <laughs> he says he wants to come with us. I don't think that... Oh, wait a minute. You speak monkey? Oh, just enough to get by. <laughs> now what? He says you have ears like a Florana dung beaver. <laughs> Robotic citizens of the Solana galaxy. The hour of your liberation is at hand! Too long have we robots suffered under the bigotry, the stupidity. The squishiness and foul stench of organic life forms. Soon, all robots will bask in the liberty and equality of my benevolent, iron fisted rule. And as for you filthy organic life forms, you can look forward to being disintegrated. <laughs> Before I became a desert rider, I didn't fit in anywhere. I had low self-esteem, bad breath, and a thing for ladies' undergarments. <laughs> but these guys understand me. They really do. Yeah, I'm just here for the bake sales. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, I also make these cute gloves for all the guys. Sir, we have a transmission from the president! How are things on the front lines, soldier? Is... is that secret agent Clank? Greetings, sir. We are here to help. Well, this is an honor, and I see you brought your chauffeur along. What? No, no. Hold on a second. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? Uh. You said it, pal! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to, uh, to the final episode of Dread Zone. Oh, God! We're all gonna die! Uh, um, the mood is positively... Electric, as the audience braces to find out if they will survive the next ten minutes. I can't believe I'm reading this. I had my whole life ahead of me. I was gonna be a ballet dancer. Pull yourself together, you blabbering idiot! I'm sorry to incapacitate you, but our entire galaxy is in a very precocious situation. I must humbly request your sustenance on a mission of dire urgitude, a mission of superfluous peril, a mission of unequivocal imperitude. Did that make any sense? Hello! 
Ratchet and Clank. You lucky devils. Angela Cross. Has just sent you a galactic greeting. Guys, if you get this message, please meet me on my home world. Just so you know, I found my old ID badge. I'm pretty sure we can still use it to infiltrate Megacorp HQ, but you're gonna have to hurry. Before the protopets completely overrun us! Oh, and uh, sorry for the balloonogram. It was the only thing I could get off this point. We hope you enjoyed your galactic greeting. Uh, I'm coming down. Whoa! Ooh, son of a quark! Good. Now get on a shuttle and get out of here. Sorry, Ratchet. I am not leaving without you. For the love of blog, cut out the sappy melodrama before you lose my entire audience. <laughs> Dr. James T. Fullbladder reporting on Megacorp Experiment Number 13. This update is strictly classified. If you are watching this, you're fired. Mr. President, how will the attack on Metropolis affect your chances for re-election this fall? I'm glad you asked, Darla. Our demographic research indicates that robots will make up 100% of the galactic population by this time next week. Now, of course, that's great news for my re-election campaign because, as you know, I'm half robot myself. Tonight, we take a journey inside the enigmatic mind of our galaxy's foremost evil genius, Dr. Nefarious. We'll take a tour of this sacred facility on planet Dax, home to some of the galaxy's most insidious superweapons, including the dreaded rainbow Afrolyzer. Dr. Nefarious, we've all enjoyed your past work, but how do you respond to critics who say your latest galactic schemes are just more of the same? I will annihilate them! Anything necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausting. And my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. Though I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions. <sighs> and as for you, Agent Clank, I have far grander plans for you. <laughs> Only, Lawrence, you can turn it off now. Oh, may I, sir? What a treat. Can not be. Okay, we walked your path of death. Now, tell us what you know about Dr. Nefarious. Who? Huh? Dr. Nefarious! They say you're the only man to ever beat him. Who? Huh? Jeez, this guy's even dumber than- Captain Quark? Yeah, <laughs> Captain Quark! Captain Quark, first you made another miraculous comeback. Now you've defeated the Tyranoids in a spectacular battle on their own planet. How do you explain your recent success? Courage, compassion, dashing good looks, iron hard abs! Seriously though, to be a true hero of heroes, you need more than loads of charisma and a brilliant tactical mind. I couldn't have done it without... These massive guns! Mwah! Mwah! Well, if it ain't two of my best customers. Slim Cognito? What are you doing down here? I had a small run-in with the cops concerning a suck cannon upgrade that was mistakenly sold to a miner. I swear the kid looked 18. Uh, uh, but... Sir, I do not understand. Mr. Fizzwidget! <laughs> this is bad. All right, just what the f is going on? It is an honor for you to meet me. I mean, you, me, to meet you, Miss Gears. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Whoa! <laughs> Check out that explosion! That was awesome! <laughs> Let's do it again! Move! It's my turn to look! No, it's my turn, you little brats! Get out of here! Don't you know how to respect your elders, hmm? Get Ow! Did you see what she just... Ah! Ah! The man, the myth, the legend, the loser. Captain Quark, once the idol of everyone in the galaxy, has finally hit rock bottom. After his humiliation at the hands of Ratchet and Clank, Quark sold bogus merchandise he claimed were Gadgetron products. But a key defect in this product, the personal hygienator, caused severe irritation in sensitive body areas and alerted authorities to Quark's scam. 
You have no idea what you're involved in. Return to your old galaxy immediately. Or this will happen to you. Or this will happen to you. I let it go! Kaboom! <laughs> Quite ingenious, really. Once our trained professionals put the finishing touches on our new planet, everything will be complete. I know. Enjoy the hygienator. <laughs> Remember, you bought it from Steve. <laughs> Steve McCork. Indeed. This is Darla Gratch reporting live from Blackwater City. We've just learned that Captain Quark will be presenting the grand prize at the Intergalactic Hoverboard Championship which will be held here over the next few days. In related news, this planet has recently been suffering from an infestation of strange amoeboid creatures. The city's administration has assured this reporter that every step has been taken to eradicate these nuisances. Darla Gratch, Channel 2 News. I wanted to offer my condolences to the team. Quark's loss is a true tragedy. The man was a hero, brave, honest, Kind and humble to the core. <laughs> what a load of bullshit. Thugs for Less Prison would like to wish you a happy incarceration. After a poolside orientation, all new inmates will meet one on one with a galactic nutritionist. This professional will ensure that you're eating a species appropriate diet for your entire stay. Next, Come check out our fitness spa with your personal trainer. Remember, a prison term can feel twice as long if you're not in proper shape. And for those times when you're just feeling blue, come talk it out with one of our 10 full-time life coaches. They'll help you find your smile again. Thugs for Less Prison. Experience the maximum in security. <laughs> What'd you think of that? That didn't seem so bad. I assume you have provisions for vegetarians. Of course. Vegan or fruit. Wait a minute. Reactor detonation in 60 seconds. Lawrence, engage the teleporter. Would you care to specify a destination, sir? Who cares? Just get us out of here. Time's up. What? That wasn't even close to 60 seconds. Bye-bye. Hand over the experiment now! I can't do that. You have three seconds. One, two, three. Ah! More calls coming in. Ratchet, Glank, it's me, Captain Quark. There's a nasty rumor going around about heroes being kidnapped. But don't worry, it's baloney. I mean, come on. Nobody came to capture me, right? Just imagine making a show about galactic heroes without Captain Quark. Ha! <laughs> Well, anyway, you guys missed the last three meetings of the Quark Cadets fan club. But well, don't worry, I've got extra copies of the newsletter, and I even saved some of the snacks. Hope you like custard. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question, but Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contraptions? Can you quickly quunk? Can, can you quarkly quit? Oh, just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. 20% off a complete service at Groovy Loop? Oops! <laughs> Wrong one. I thought we agreed to put that jungle business behind us. <laughs> it was mating season! How could I have known she was your sister? Uh, <laughs> uh, how long have you two been standing there? Too long. Back to behind the hero. In yet another setback for the embattled Captain Quark, the Galactic Court ordered him to pay six billion volts in damages to citizens suffering from personal hygienator syndrome. Only two days later, Quark was arrested trying to flee to Pokotaru. The one-time hero, now full-time Zero, was placed in custody awaiting trial. But the next day it was discovered that he had escaped. 
flushing himself to freedom. Do you have a problem with unwanted hair? Is painful itching in your nether regions causing you undue embarrassment? Do you just plain stink? Then you need this! The Gadgetron Personal Hygienator! Hi, I'm Steve... McQuark. And this little baby can take care of any grooming needs that are just too much trouble for you to handle yourself. Allow me to demonstrate. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, mommy. Turn it off! Turn it off! Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Sweet death. At last we meet. Nobly, I fall on the field of battle. Finish me, Lombax! What's a rhino, anyway? Rip ya a new one. What did you just say to me? Oh, by the way, we found something interesting in Quark's quarters. Hey, if it's another crotchetizer, I don't even want to... It is... Put it in the slot. The weapon you want modified. Put it in the slot. Oh, I get it. You make weapon modifications. Yep. I can take your puny little weapon, and with a few, uh, tweaks, I can turn it into a powerful piece of equipment. Look, you want me to hook you up or what? I can't hang around here all day. First, Ratchet and Clank will descend to the sea floor and wade through a series of tunnels flooded with waist-high raw sewage. What? Please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh oh, look at this. The complete Secret Agent Clank Holovid collection. <laughs> this guy's your biggest fan. That is rather disturbing. Why is Billy sad? Is he cold, hungry, or maybe just... Oh, no! No, 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 take it away! Lonely. No! Introducing the Megacore Protopet. Your child will shriek with joy when he meets our adorable friend. Wanna play ball? So does the Protopet. Need a partner for tag? Go find the Protopet. Up for some cops and robbers? Help! Police! So is you know who. Just ask Billy. No! The Has this ever happened to you? What do you mean we can't teleport to a planet? I'm afraid we're well out of range, sir. Perhaps if you had bothered to specify a destination. When will we be in range? Oh, I'm sure something will come along in, say, five or ten thousand years. Ah! I don't believe this! Now what? I don't suppose you can play drums. Two more containers of sulfuric acid. Oops. Then uh, make that five containers and uh, four containers of liquid hydrogen. Oops. Then uh, write six crates of nitroglycerin. Uh, look, just give me double there. And I need it delivered. Come to think of it, we've met before, haven't we? Now. Uh, of course not. Mr. Bozell's ninth grade biology class. Uh, I always hated biology. That's right. You were that freak with the headgear. Remember how he used to clean the chalkboard with your pants <laughs> while you were still wearing them? Oh, good times. You were three times my size, you stupid old. I was always big for my age. You were 26. By Team Mega Corp Racing. Hustle indigenous population not owned, endorsed, sponsored, supplied, advocated, or even liked by Megacorp. Quark slipped into the laboratory completely undetected. Somebody... 
Somebody order a pizza? Quark's plan was flawless. Well, that explains a lot. Yes, I suppose it... All this time, my personal hygienator must have been causing that itch. Anyway... Aren't you gonna unlock Quark's secret costumes? Here, I'll use the cheat codes. Let's see. Up, up, down, down, left, right, circle, square, square. <laughs> Even a tutu! Ask yourself, are you man enough, hero enough, insane enough to step into the ring with two of the fiercest warriors in the galaxy? If you answered yes, you're a big, fat liar! Grind boot tester. Warhead assembly technician. Mutant animal husbandry. Robot repair man. Suck cannon test dummy. And administrative assistant. You have no idea what a thrill it is to be rescued by a big hunk of titanium alloy like yourself. <laughs> Perhaps now you will tell me what Dr. Nefarious is planning. I have a better idea. Why don't you ask him yourself? What is it? I have a present for you, Snicky Wookums. Ah! I told you to stop calling me that! Hey, who let you in here? Get lost before I flatten your robot into a hubcap. Touch him, and it's Plasma City! Oh gosh, you didn't have to yell. <laughs> Why did he have to yell? Uh, hey man. I can't hear you, la 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 la. That was terrific! Now I just need you to say a few words about our hot new boards. Huh? Now? Of course. Just look into that camera right over there and say what comes naturally. Rolling! Uh, hi. This is Ratchet for, uh, Gadgetron Hoverboards. And if you, um... Yo, dudes, for the freshest boards in the galaxy, check out the new XZ88 from Gadgetron. It's so hot, it's cool. I think I got the wrong guy. Do you have any maps for this quadrant of the galaxy? You bet, mister! We got galactic maps, 3D maps, foldouts, cutouts, maps to the stars, and their homes! Sorry about that. Ah, oh, I forgot my wallet. Could you, you know, take care of this? Perimeter defenses deactivated. You forgot your change! I am defeated! I have no choice but to throw myself on your mercy! Really? Uh, I mean, that's right, Nefarious. Your reign of terror is finally... SUCKER! <laughs> now, let's get the goods on that experiment. What the? I think I see the problem. What? Now even the computers are charging us? That's it. This galaxy blows. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech devices using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. We still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, nothing, I guess. Are you ready for the main event? Introducing one of the fiercest gladiators in the galaxy. Ratchet! And some metal guy! That's the last of them. Now I can finally make my wife that sewer crystal necklace she's always wanted. Say, what are sewer crystals exactly? Oh, trust me, it's better you don't know. It says, in case of emergency, break glass with wrench. Hold on. This one says, use rock to break glass to get wrench to break glass to get rock. Ooh, I love logic puzzles. Let's see, if you break the glass with the... Solved it. What's going on? Where are my arms? Whose butt is this? Uh, mayday! Mayday! Well, Ratchet, I'd say you passed the test. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, 
kids across the galaxy know that wearing the right pajamas can give you superpowers. I'm Gamatron. My eyes shoot laser beams. <laughs> I'm Reactor. I can eat metal. <gasps> I'm Battlehawk. I can fly. Oh! <laughs> oh, I love that part. Hey, there's Mr. Fizz Widget. <laughs> Did you say too late? Sir, it is never too late to acquire the latest in the long line of quality products from Gadgetron. I have for you, today only, the Gadgetron PDA. Public display of affection? No, 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 personal delivery assistant. <laughs> this device allows you to purchase ammunition wherever and whenever you want it. Yeah? How do I know it works? You can always trust Gadgetron quality, or my name's not... Steve. Angela Cross, calling Ratchet on secure band 7 Echo Foxtrot. Ratchet here. Uh, Angela, is that your name? Ratchet was calling you something quite different. Oh, was he now? Now, now, save it. I know how it works. You convince me to let you in, you snap a picture of the captain in his underpants, underpants, then you sell a picture to the info tabloid for a million bolts! So, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, my goodness. You will find raritanium for me. No, I will not. Give my regards to Megacorp. Finish him. <laughs> Cities are full of smog, swamps are full of muck, and tar pits are full of tar. But here at Joe I Resort, the sun shines 24 hours a day. Visitors get a free O2 mask to explore our warm waters. The benign marine life will welcome you to the big blue world under the sea. Sorry. <laughs> so join Ultimate Supreme Executive Chairman Drek as he pushes the button that ends one world and begins another. Then stay tuned for the galaxy's funniest superhero bloopers featuring Captain Quark. So, you fellas new here? You boys should sign up for the new Probomatic. That little baby cleans you something fierce. I just got done testing the full body vaccinator. I am personally sporting a smooth chassis, and there are no tags on my luggage. All right then. Catch you later. Subject 23A. Please report immediately for crotchetizer testing. Well, duty calls. All right, fellas. Nice and tight now. So you tested this, right? Oh, wait! That's why I'm here! <laughs> oh, one more thing! Lawrence! What's going on? You said we were coming within range of a space station! Well, we were, sir. How was I to know it would suddenly explode? What? 